Mrs. M here and what I want to talk about now is I think I'm going to title this video Big Girl vs. Big Girl now there's people that I'm subscribed to that touch on this subject about how you have a certain group of big girls that's very confident I'm talking about like maybe mobile obese big women or I say about 200 plus, 200, 300 plus or more in size. Some are voluptuous, some, you know, are very cute and they know how to put, you know, the outfits together, very confident. Some are funny and got great personalities. Some have all of those qualities. And then on the other hand, you have another group of big women that just wish they were like that they, they, they self esteem is shit but they front like you know they got confidence but they not and they're secret haters um I hate to say it like that but it's out there whether in YouTube land or outside YouTube land they're out there and it's like bad enough you got skinny women looking at a certain type of way whether black whether white whether any other ethnicity you know I can't walk down Soho New York with my husband without some white skinny chick just but then I notice most of them are alone you know, without them like looking at me a certain type of way, <laughs> snickering and going on. But they're a bunch of toothpicks. They really don't really look all that without tons of makeup on their face. You know, no shape, no, just nothing. <laughs> nothing here. But somebody will desire them because they're supposed to be the ideal woman. Supposedly. Yeah, I don't see it. But, but to have my own big girls turning on me, or, you know, because of whatever reason, I mean, if, if you're lacking in certain areas, you know, ask for help, ask for advice, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't sit there and, uh, those slurs, those, those, you know, those be condescending whether it's under comments whether it's your know, everyday life or even just I had this um I think I was talked about it when I went to the gym it's, you know she was a chunky girl and she was cute she was she, you know she was well put together you know very well coordinated and stuff got her little cute little um, workout outfit on you know color coordinated everything but she just kept like cutting looks at me like Ugh. I'm like what the fuck I mean we already gotta go through discriminations in the gym in the gym alone it's a big step for us to walk up in there because you got folks that you know some people are, say some fucked up shit you got folks that snicker laugh at you I had that happen yes I had that happen People see me come in and snicker and laugh, and then when they see that my stamina and I have more stamina than they do on that treadmill, or on that elliptical, and they huffing and puffing within 10, 15 minutes, they're like, oh, I can't, they, they want to walk off, or they want to do a little competition thing, you know, yeah, I'm not going to get off until she get off, or when I stop. To take a little water break, they think I, you know, stop for good, so they'll get off, thinking, whew, she, she, she done, and I get right back on it for like another 20, 30 minutes. And then they throw on me little hate looks when they leaving out the door. Sorry, I just, you know, my stamina is just up there, apart from working at FedEx. I have higher stamina. You know, you may have the speed, but I could go longer distance than anybody. 
bad enough to be going through all that. Whether it's in a gym, just look, coming out of our houses. But we got to have other big girls discriminating on other certain, certain big girls, certain ones. You know, you know the one with no life, the the trolling ones, the one that they want to put their makeup on and, and get the wigs and stuff, trying to be like someone else, but they still inside, they still feel like crack. Yeah, those, those that look at the ones and that damn she she you know she she got it going on, she got it together, damn, and she got a man, she got a husband. I come, I can't get nobody. You know, well, them. Because, see, when you you a big girl, especially, I'm going to talk about our black women. You got folks looking at certain things. They looking at if you stink or if you going to have black shit on the back of your neck, black elbows. They looking for that shit. I don't really got none of that. I don't got no black neck and, and elbow because I've been cocoa buttering it for a long time. Now you shave butter and cocoa butter. I, I don't got none of that shit. I don't. They looking for tons of stretch marks. They looking, you know, looking for, like, see, you're going to be sloppy and, and things like that. They already looking at that in us. You know, you got, you know, these some of these skinny bitches. Not all of y'all. Not all of them are like that, but majority of them. <sighs> that thing. Yeah, it's probably in between your legs, bitch. <laughs> they see a big girl. That thing. <clears throat> it's thing. And they like, I don't. Sm they, they could be with a friend. They friend like, I don't smell anything. You know, trying to be funny and shit. You know. Bad enough we got to deal with that, but then we got to deal with these other little group of big girls. Come on now. Come on. You know, we're basically in the same boat. We're trying to, you know, whether we're trying to make changes, to change our lifestyle, to lose weight, to, 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 to feel better about ourselves, to try to live. We should be uplifting one another and doing this together. But instead, you got these little secret haters. They act like they with you. But then they, you know, then they got to know to call you fat. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> all the time I call another big girl fat is if she fuck with me. That's the only way I call her fat. That's A lot of times when you hear other big girls call other big girls fat, a lot of times, majority of times, it's because that person fuck with them first. In my case, that's that's what happens. I mean, if I call another big girl fat on YouTube or whatever, it's because she fucked with me first. Yeah. But, you know, I don't do it often. But if I do, that, that's the lowdown. Because a lot of times, they don't name call me first. And, and I'm this and I'm that. But whatever. You know, I've heard it all. Oh, Mrs. M is always in some shit. She a bully. She a troublemaker. But you know this. The ones that say that. The ones that probably have made videos and stuff about me or the ones that a lot of times have said shit about me. But then when I defend myself, then I'm the bully. You know, I may have went a little bit extreme, you know, in the past or whatever like that. But it's funny how I'm the bully when I'm able and capable of defending myself. And I'm still being called the bully when I was called names first. I was called out my names first. Just for whether I'm defending someone in the comments. Or, you know, or I may have to block someone so they won't harass another YouTube sister of mine or brother. And they just flip the script and call me, you know, all kinds of ass, ki I'm, you kissing ass and stuff. I don't got no reason. Let me tell you something. Let me tell all of y'all something. I have no reason to front or kiss anybody ass on the YT or in my everyday life. Because people that know me know me. No, I don't do that. I don't kiss ass. I don't. That's probably why... I didn't get so far on the job. 
I don't do that. I, I can't. I can't kiss ass and, and you wrong. When you wrong, I'm going to call you that you wrong. And I've done it. And I've done it to managers, supervisors. When you wrong, you wrong. Don't you dare come up to me and you tell me out somebody personal life. Or this one's a whore. And I ain't talking about regular workers. I'm talking about high ups. No, that's that person's business. What the hell that got to do with loading packages or the job function? If that person want to be a whore, that's that person's business. And a lot of times those be the whores that's coming to me. They the biggest whores there. <laughs> they the biggest hoes there. No, no, no. I don't play that shit. When I was new hire, oh yeah, so so was a whore. So so I don't I don't know just about every woman that had abortions on it. I shouldn't know that. That's not my business to know who had abortions and okay, so so fucking with so so. Okay, I'm not there for that because I don't want her man and I don't care how many people had abortions and how many abortions they had. I'm here to do a job and collect a paycheck because I got my own problems. <laughs> you tell me about somebody else? Shit, I got my own shit to deal with it. You know, I'm here to make money like everybody else. We all got one common goal. We all have to make money. So we go back, take care of ourselves and our families, do whatever we need to do to make that dough. Okay? That's all I care about. I don't care about nobody else's personal life because you talk about somebody... You quit to talk about my business. And that's why I don't really fuck with people like that. I won't fuck with you like that. I don't care how much how nice you seem and you smile in my face. You tell that person business, just tell mine. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Yeah, cause I got I got some of my trolls. Some of the trolls I had I had people <laughs> There's people I didn't even know had a problem with me. I don't even know these people on YouTube. I'm talking about YouTube now. I didn't even know. I'm looking at comments and I'm seeing my name. They put my name out there and I'm like, I don't even know this person. Go to their profile pic, big girl. I was like, oh. You know what I'm saying? And it's always a lot of times it's the ones that I won't say they're less attractive or the ones that feel like maybe the guys won't come to them to them as close or as fast as they would, you know, somebody that look like me or somebody that's really, you know, really pretty and confident. A lot of times, even if you don't look that attractive, a lot of times your personality could draw people. Your spirit could draw people. Your smile could draw people. You could have, you know, a, a nice smile. Or, you know, the way you carry yourself could, could draw people to you. You don't even got it. ain't even all about the looks because I've seen people that look like beauty queens, but they their spirit is so nasty and disgusting. People just don't want to be around them. So, you know, it's not all about out of beauty you know what I'm saying in most in most cases it's not all about that but you got these big girls against these upset big girls why just go out and do you look in the mirror look at your best assets that you can work with and work with that and YouTube is a great tool to you know to spare me improve on you know different looks that may look well with you you know whether it's clothes wigs or makeup they got tons of makeup techniques that could just make you look like a star you know you and then, and then go out there and flaunt your stuff you know you don't gotta hate on the next one because everybody's different everybody has something to bring to the table you know you don't gotta stalk and hate on this one because this one got a husband and that one got her own business and this one looked like more like a model and most of the most of the pe most of guys seem to like this love this one and this one's more curvier than me and this one is smaller than me you got a smaller waist than me come on 
you know, it's, it's, it's no need for hate. I mean, we got enough against us. As, as full-figured women, as well as black women, we got a whole lot against us. You know, we don't need to be going against each other like that. There's room for improvement. You don't like your body? Do something about it. I didn't, I didn't like being almost 300 pounds. I did something about it. And still doing something about it. I said, okay, sh something got to get. <laughs> why am I blowing up and I'm going to work every day and I'm active, but why am I, you know, maybe I guess it was the stress. Or, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but now I'm happier. Got, and then I'm getting older. You know what I'm saying? When you're older and you're full size, you can't carry them. You, you, like, say if you're 300 plus, okay, and you've been in the 300s majority of your life, in your, in your teens or 20s or 30s, you've been big all your life. If you, like, say if you're 290, and you're 290 at 25, you can't carry the same weight like you could at 35. It ain't happening, because things gonna start happening, you gonna start feeling a lot of numbness, in certain areas you ain't ever felt before. It's time to lose some weight. <laughs> okay, it's, it's the weight. You know, and that's what was going on with me. I started feeling numbness in my legs and stuff. I was scared I was going to get diabetes. But my dad, he wasn't diagnosed with diabetes until the age of 35. You know, and, I, and that's scary. I don't want to get that. That's scary. I don't want to stick a needle in me for the rest of my life. I don't. So, something had to change here first. Pray about it and then do it. Because you can't get through it without God. So, and I plan on keeping it off. I don't plan on going back to that size. I ain't trying to be skinny mini, but I want to be a nice little sexy voluptuous size that got workable. You know, I ain't never want to be no skinny mini, no, no, no size four or nothing like that. I ain't never want to be like that. Mm -mm. But, yeah, but that's basically it. It's like, come on now. We we all got one common goal. You know, we, we all, we all be big. We're big girls. You know, we got this just about the same type of discrimination. You know, it's like, stop it. Why would you turn on other big girls? Because you feel like they're prettier than you, or they can get more men than you, or they dress better than you, or they got more money than you. Stop it. Please, stop. You don't like yourself, change it. That's my point. Um, That's all I have to say for right now, and I'm out.